AQA Viral Diseases, HIV, Measles and TMV by KScience.com. Measles is a viral infection. It is caused by a virus. And a common symptom of measles is a red skin rash. So a red skin rash. And if you've got measles, another common symptom is going to be a high fever. So you're going to have an increased body temperature. So you're going to have a fever. Measles in its most severe form can cause death, but this is very rare. So the virus is going to be in mucus when you sneeze or cough. So if you sneeze or cough, you're going to transmit the virus via the mucus that you sneeze or cough. So it is an airborne transmission. So if someone inhales the mucus droplets containing the virus, they're going to become infected by the measles virus. So the mucus is a vector. So the person inhales the droplets of the infected people, they're then going to become infected and be a host of the virus which causes measles. They will then have a red skin rash and then a high fever. So treatment. Antibiotics will not cure you of measles. This is because measles is a viral infection and antibiotics will only cure bacterial infections. So painkillers can be taken to treat the symptoms of the fever. So to reduce the effects of the fever itself. And young children should be vaccinated to make them immune to the disease. So young children should be vaccinated against measles. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This person has a HIV infection. They've got the virus, the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. They are a host. So if they then have unprotected sex without a condom with another person, they're going to then transmit the HIV virus to that person. So the exchange of bodily fluids is going to cause the transmission of HIV. So this person will then have sex with this person and they are then going to exchange bodily fluids which will then transmit HIV. So this person here uses a needle and a syringe. They then share that syringe with another person. So if they share this needle, which is now contaminated with blood with HIV in it, and that person then uses the same needle, there's a chance that that person is then going to have the HIV virus injected into their body. So if they use the same syringe, they're going to exchange bodily fluids and therefore transmit the HIV virus. This person now has a HIV infection. But what does HIV do to a person? This here is an example of an immune system cell. And HIV infects the immune system cells. So HIV enters the immune system cells. And HIV damages the immune system cells. So HIV, the virus, damages immune system cells. And once the immune system has been damaged completely, the person will then have AIDS. AIDS is when the immune system has failed for that person. So that means if they get a cold, if they get the flu, pneumonia or cancer, their body will not be able to defend itself against these illnesses. So they're more likely to die. So once you've got AIDS, which means your immune system has failed, if you get the flu or cancer, that means you're most likely to die from this illness. So what is the treatment for HIV? Well, you've got antiviral drugs that are now very effective that will prevent the onset of AIDS. And how do you prevent the transmission of HIV? Well, very easily you use condoms if you're having sex. And if you're going to use needles, you make sure they're clean, fresh needles out of a packet. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
TMV in plants. TMV stands for tobacco mosaic virus. And the soil is a vector for TMV, a virus. The TMV virus is absorbed into the root systems and into the plants, where it will infect the cells of the plant. So the plant is now a host for the virus called TMV. So how is TMV transmitted from one plant to another? So if a part of the plant infected by TMV comes off the plant, and if that part of the plant then comes into direct contact with another plant, well then the TMV is going to be transmitted from one plant to another. TMV is transmitted by direct contact with infected plant material. TMV is transmitted by direct contact with infected plant material. If plants infected, only way to prevent transmission of TMV is the removal of the plants that are infected. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.